Sebenarnya korang boleh pilih asasi, korang boleh pilih diploma, korang boleh pilih STPM, korang boleh tell you the simple and packed things about sister video. Okay. Siapa asasi sains perubatan or asasi you? sebab I pernah cakap berkenaan dengan ni banyak kali sebab I think this is very important things before you apply your PO or something. Love it how you love me electric like you do. Love it how you love me electric always you. Okay, so like I just said, asasi, what you need to know is about the system feeder. It's really, really matter what asasi you want to choose sebab sometimes ada asasi yang menjurus dah kepada bidang yang you nak. Ada asasi yang you can generalize choose which one pathway that you want to go. Like asasi UI Tabin Kill and asasi UM which you can choose uh, IPT. So it's very, very important for you untuk pilih which asasi you want to put in your view option. So next, let's go to metrics. So actually, matriculation, I think most of people will get it. Dan dia dah dapat, before dapat result SPM pun dah dapat tahu dah matric mana yang you It's nak. your decision to choose. Either you want to go with matrix or assessi or diploma. Usually, for Indians and Chinese and all the non malay citizens, will got the place in matrix. And yeah, it's okay to be with matrix. Like I already asked my friends yang ambil matrix sebelum ni, and dia cakap matrix is so fun and very less pressure. Sebab matrix ni macam masasi and dia punya duration pun sama tapi dia punya environment tu macam sekolah. You panggil your lecturer pun cikgu. Like dia punya environment like you get the chance to kata apa macam sekolah lagi lah. Ha, macam tu. And it's less pressure. I'm not sure for others but for my uh, friend ni dia memang dia cakap Uh, it's okay. It's very uh, leisure times, and also my friend told about uh, the past equation that uh, soalan soalan yang ditanya tu. You just do past equation, and then by books, my friend lah bagi tahu perkenaan dengan past equation. Dia orang boleh. Dia orang kalau dia punya leisure tak ada leisure, tapi dia orang boleh buat uh, past equation. Okay, so this is the message from one of my friend yang dulu pernah belajar matrix, and dalam dua semester dekat matrix tu dia akan ada few modules, dan setiap modules tu dia akan ada dia own past equation lah, you akan, you boleh belajar dekat situ actually you need to put an effort lah untuk get the past equation and once you dah buat past equation and focus dalam class, it's very easy for you to score the exam actually, so yeah this is all about the matrix and the focus for you to go to matrix is just getting for flat and get an excellent result for sure for you to secure your place dalam degree nanti, so that kalau dapat result yang cantik, result yang bagus InsyaAllah, there's a chance for you to get the degree that you want, okay? So, there's no discouragement. Kalau korang dapat SPM result tu, tak adalah hebat sangat ke apa ke, but you still have chance untuk dapat uh, course that you want. Sebab apa? Sebab I boleh cakap macam ni je. Asasi dengan matric ni is another chance. is your second chance untuk korang perform. Uh, so, that's why I cakap SPM result adalah result yang untuk korang pilih sama ada korang nak asasi ke diploma ke matrix or else and then you want if you want to go to the degree you need to be excellent in asasi matrix pula tak boleh ni kalau you dapat straight A SPM and then waktu asasi and matrix you main-main you jawab sambil leka until your pointer just only 3.6 and the 3.6 is minimum requirement for medical school tapi memanglah minimum requirement all the students around the Malaysia want to be in medical school how competitive they are. It's very hard for you uh, even though you already fulfill the requirement 3.6 uh, pointer but still there are lots of people yang memang nak medical school or else lah any other course yang orang kata um, ramai student yang they have good result and I hope so much that you are all among that student yang dapat result macam tu. Sebab apa? Sebab, yelah, SPM dapat macam ni Tapi when you perform well You get a good and excellent results in matrix and asasi You can secure your place in degree Okay, so I really hope Waktu matrix dengan asasi ni tolonglah Belajar betul-betul Because that's why orang cakap SPM ni Habis SPM, that's the starting of your journey That's not Bukan not the end of the world lagi. Tak habis lagi perjalanan. Tu baru je starting point of your journey. So please make sure after dapat SPM result. Kalau dapat kurang bagus result tu. Be courage. Percaya pada diri. Belajar lagi sungguh. Target excellent result dalam SPM. Dalam matrix. Dalam asasi. Dalam diploma. 
get the good pointer and then secure your place for a good course in degree that you want or else okay so please i hope so much all right i think uh matrix uh, just only about that okay and then the next option we have ipg let's go so untuk ipg korang kena tahu ipg Apa cakap macam ni? Kalau korang minat nak jadi cikgu, just go for IPG if you get the result IPG. For sure, IPG pun banyak kompetitif. There are a lot of good students uh, yang dapat result SPM bagus-bagus. Dia orang akan terus apply IPG. So that's why SPM ni can choose. Kalau you dapat result yang bagus SPM, you can choose IPG. You can try to apply it. Tapi tak adalah dia dapat result I mean like you dapat result tu terus dapat IPG No, there's many assessment Untuk korang uh, diserap masuk dalam IPG There are interview Dia ada uh, ujian apa? Ujian physical uh, I'm not sure the terms UP something Tapi yelah dia ada banyak test Untuk korang masuk IPG Sebab yang apply tu ramai Yang dapat tu berapa je So for sure uh, IPG also one of the um, Competitive uh, punya pathway lah So in case kalau you dapat IPG Tell yourself Ask yourself You nak jadi apa? Adakah you nak jadi teacher? Uh, or maybe you have your own ambition Or whatsoever Okay So for sure IPG I will say IPG ni dia punya job secure And you need to know IPG only for primary school lah Alright, so kalau you nak jadi cikgu primary school Go to IPG If you get the IPG, just go Okay, for sure just uh, Minta doa, just istiqarah first Ask God, uh, is it a good pathway for you? Is it a good uh, decision that you will make? So kalau korang minat nak jadi cikgu sekolah rendah Go to IPG Pergi ke IPG, okay Tapi in case kalau korang nak pergi uh, Untuk sekolah menengah ke Or lecturer or else Go for other pathway Like go to asasi or matrix or diploma or else And then uh, go to the degree that yang menjurus uh, korang Kepada uh, perkenaan dengan perguruan Contoh you can go to OPSI And also there are Tak adalah nak kata UPSI je yang boleh jadi lecturer Ada a lot of course yang korang boleh pursue untuk jadi lecturer ke Untuk jadi cikgu sekolah menengah ke Cuma make sure nanti you kena sambung lah education uh, I mean like uh, yang berkait dengan perguruan Yang berkait dengan pendidikan So you need to apply that one pula nanti okay So there are a lot of chance for you to be a teacher For you teach people But for IPG InsyaAllah there is a secure job Untuk korang dapat job uh, as a teacher in a primary school So that's just only things that I know about IPG Alright So now let's move on to TVET Actually orang yang pilih Politeknik is those yang Tak, bukan tak minat Tapi mungkin kurang sikit uh, For academic But they can choose Or maybe dia tak minat Or else Banyak je pilihan dia orang So kalau dia orang macam uh, More go to uh, skills You can further go to polytechnic Okay so for sure Polytechnic ni I don't I will not say It's actually underrated Sebab yelah orang cakap Polytechnic je pun Tapi orang yang Polytechnic ni Lagi banyak kemahiran dia ha, So Dia orang punya uh, Untuk dapat job tu lagi senang Sebab apa? Sebab dia orang banyak kemahiran Sebab sekarang ni Orang pun pentingkan pengalaman Orang pentingkan kemahiran Yang ada dalam diri kita Sebab orang nak kata bijak ramai Tak ada nak kata Orang bijak tu ramai Tapi orang yang ada kemahiran Ni Sangatlah precious Orang yang ada kemahiran Dah lama Ada pengalaman banyak So dia orang punya job pun banyak Sebenarnya So if korang berminat dengan kemahiran Go for polytechnic Okay So let's move on to the STPM So STPM ni for form 6 level lah I'm not pretty sure about STPM Because I'm not ask more But yeah Kita ada STPM and also kita ada STAM So STAM ni is more towards every, uh, agama lah So dia banyak lah dia punya subjek agama tu But STPM ni it depends on your course But uh, I'm not gonna touch more about STPM Sebab um, I don't have I have friends for STPM But I don't ask But I still can search it So for sure for you all So I can search it Okay so actually saya tak tahu sangat berkenaan dengan STPM And I already google it And I'm still clueless about it Sebab yelah saya tak faham sangat Kalau baca je ni but I'm pretty sure that uh, they will have for sure I will just uh, 
put the link about this STPM that I think if you go discover all of this mungkin korang akan faham lah kalau korang betul-betul discover berkenaan dengan ni but I will put the link in my description box below okay in case if there's time that I'll ask my friend yang further STPM I'll just explain later in other video Alright, so sekarang ni saya rasa saya dah settle bercakap berkenaan dengan apa yang boleh pilih lepas SPM but there is a one question that have been asked to me berkenaan dengan aliran sains apa yang boleh pilih after matriculation okay, like I said, matriculation ke, asasi ke, anything else yang boleh pilih after it is the kind of degree aliran sains yang you boleh pilih How you love me electric, like you do Love it, how you love me